Jane's imagination. We first met her in 2012 as she learned to use a bionic suit to help her walk. While not satisfied with a few steps, Claire went on to become the first paraplegic to complete the London Marathon. It took 17 days. Now, she lit the cauldron at the 2012 Paralympics and last year embarked on a handbike ride around the UK. Well, Claire has a new book out and we're delighted to say that she joins us now in the studio. Claire, welcome to ITV News Central. Thank you. An incredible number of achievements there. I mean, why do you do it? Uh, I think a spinal injury and it doesn't affect who you are. And before my accident, I had the event in and my chiropractic and I was ambitious then. And it took a few years to get back on track, but um, eventually I got there and set myself new goals and have done what I can do to help raise money to get a cure for cancer. Now, we featured you on the programme several times before. I mean, we, what we do know about you is that no isn't a word that you particularly understand. Just give us some sense, if you can, of the journey that you've been on over the last few years. Yeah, I mean, my book's taken me, you know, through the past um, seven years. And early on, there's some very dark days, and they're the days that people haven't really seen. The publicity and things that have been in the public eye have all been, have been positive, and it's not been without a massive fight. Um, everyone thinks the marathon is my hardest challenge, but it wasn't getting out of bed when I felt low was my hardest challenge. Um, and I think that's really what the book um, will show, which makes kind of the, be the better days and having Maisie and the marathon and everything else even, even better. Well, let's talk about the book now, because this is your book. It's called Finding My Feet. Um, and the title you said was Your Husband, Dan. Yeah, he came up with the title, and I thought it's quite a good one, so I went with that one. And, uh, I mean, it's full of lovely pictures and obviously some great stories. But it, it obviously features a picture of you in the marathon to start off with. And that, and that for us, I think we remember it being a huge news story. You were the news at the time. Um, were you quite, I mean, supported by the public support you got? Oh, massively. I mean, without all that, it would have been a really tough 17 days. It's obviously a hard challenge anyway, but the people made it. And I actually had a brilliant 17 days because I met so many people and the donations coming in and everything kept me going. They were baby steps though, weren't they? Every they were, day. Exactly, and um, I only had 12 weeks of training in the suit. I did a lot of rehab, but um, it's very difficult. I can't feel my legs at all, so I couldn't even feel what I was standing on. Um, so it was just step by step. It was times in my training I didn't even know if I'd, I didn't even walk across the room. So <laughs> it felt like was it just a distant dream, but um, I did get there on the 22nd of April 2012 and eventually got to the finish. I just want to mention uh, Matt Hampson. He's somebody that our viewers will be very familiar with. We featured him uh, many times on the programme. He was left um, paralysed from the neck down after a rugby accident. I know he helped you a lot early on, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Matt's uh, become a great friend and I've actually mentioned him in the book because he, he set up his own foundation to help injured sports people and help me be able to get the suit in the first place. So without Matt in my marathon, um, it probably wouldn't have happened. Um, so yeah, he, and also in my days where I felt really low, Matt was a huge inspiration and kept me going. I thought if Matt can get out there and do what he's doing, then I've got no excuses. Well, um, we know your lady doesn't like to uh, sit around doing nothing. What have you got planned next? Um, I've got a busy few months, what with a book coming out, so it's actually book launch tomorrow. Um, but also I'm doing quite a lot of school talks. I go and show the robotic suit and just really tell the kids how my life change so quickly and how I've had to rebuild it from scratch and, and they ask me great questions and seem to seem to like it and see the suit and everything. So that's that's the plan over the next next few weeks. Okay, well we wish you all the best with uh, not only the book but any future challenges as well. Thank you very much Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Well now it's time for the latest in our